Hello everyone and welcome to The Game Shed with me Mark and in today's video I'm going to be giving you a quick tip on how to combine bin files that have been separated into tracks into one single bin file so that you can upload it onto your PS Classic USB and play it on your PS Classic. Very very simple. So in the previous video I showed you how to use CD Mage. That is the main application you are going to be using in today's video. So make sure if you haven't got CD Mage already downloaded and installed that you get that done now. Uh, the, the site I've been using is Emu Paradise and there is a section called Community Uploaded Links and Downloads. In there you will see the link for CD Mage. So there you go. Uh, I will put that link in the description so you do not need to worry. Uh, once you've installed that, open up CD Mage. There we go and find one of your games that has been separated into tracks. As you can see here, Street Fighter Collection, bizarrely, has been separated into 72 different tracks. No idea why. Totally bizarre. Anyway, ignore all the tracks. What you want to do is find the Q file from that game, drag it into CD Mage, let go, and it will process it. Wait just a few seconds, and then you'll see all the tracks listed for that disc, so this is just disc one. I don't know why disc one was split up so much. Obviously a rather large game. Uh, you'll see all the tracks there, and all you have to do is go to session one. I don't know why that is taking so long to click between the two. But then go to file, save as, and what you wanna see is .q here. Street Fighter Collection USA disc one. Save it into the same folder if you want, it doesn't make any difference, uh, but it's completely up to you, like I said. Click save, it will ask you if you want to overwrite the existing Q file, so just say yes. And click okie dokie, and then it will begin to save, as you can see here. So once that is done, you should see in here, here we go, it's being created as we speak, a single dot bin file for disk one. So there you go. Uh, hopefully that's done. It looks like it. Yep, 733 megs. Wow, that is a big game. Right, so let me now delete all these split up tracks. Uh, cancel that. Because I've still got CD Mage open, it won't let me delete the tracks. Right, delete the tracks. And we should be left with disk1.bin and disk1.q. There you go. So. As this is a two disc game, I'm going to delete the original disc. I'm going to extract the files from disc two into this folder. As you can see, and let's see how much they've split up disc two. As you can see, it's actually created a separate folder. Um, and luckily for us, there's only two tracks this time. It's not 72. So the second disc is obviously not quite as large as the first. So let's chuck the Q file in there. File, save as, save it. Yes, okie dokie. Then it will create that BIM file um, as one file rather than two tracks. So let's see once that finishes. Save, completed successfully. Let's close down CD Mage. Let's get rid of these two. Let's copy those. Uh, let's put those back in this folder here. Delete this. Delete the disk. And we are left with, look at this. The perfect combination of files for the PS Classic. So let's open up the Bloom Sync folder. Go to Games, and we're going to add a new number in here. So let's just copy 25. And call it 26. I have a whole load of games in here you may see now. Get rid of all of this. Apart from PS config and there we go so we're just copying copying please those into that folder jobs are good and there you go so that is how you combine tracks together guys it is very very simple CD mage makes it nice and easy um, for you to do I don't know how many of these you might have but I saw it come up in the questions in the original video a lot so I figured you know what here's your video that's how you do it so thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel for lots more of this kind of content give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and it was useful to you I would much appreciate it so thank you so much for coming along and I will see you next time